This video will cover the search, sort, and tag features in Omega Recruit. Our goal with these features is that you're able to organize your PNN list to your liking so you never have to export your list to Excel. So the first feature we'll go over is the search feature. This helps you to find specific PNMs or groups of PNMs. You can search by status, party, class, min, overall score, or any of the other columns in your PNM list. So we'll go over some demonstrations for you now. So a simple search on one parameter, so let's just do active for our example. Type an active in our search bar up here, and that'll bring in all of our active PNMs. If you like to search um, for multiple items at a time, we can add, so we want to do per by party. So let's do active and party one. I'll bring up all of our active PNMs who are going to be in our party one. We can also do an or search. So if you want to find freshmen or sophomores, we'll do freshmen or sophomores. And that'll bring up both of those classes for us in our list. We can also combine all our searches together for a more advanced search. So if we want to do active in a certain party who are freshmen and sophomores, we can do active and party four and freshmen or sophomores. If you don't want to use the and um, or or words, the comma stands for and, and the plus sign on your keyboard will stand for or. So next to our search feature is our sort feature. So we can sort our PNM list based on any of the columns um, at the top here. So for our, our sort, we'll just sort by name. So your sort, go ahead and puts it in ascending order for you. But if you want to see the other side, you can do descending by typing D-E-S-C next to your header that you are searching by or sorting by. So saying if we wanted to search by party, it's just going to bring up our party ones first. But if we want to see the bottom of our party list, we can do a party descending. And our final feature for this video will be our tags feature. So our tags column on the far right side here allows you to customize your PNM list by typing in values that you would like to look by. So if you want to help create categories or groups of PNMs, this is a great feature for you. So tags can be positive or negative things. So positive could be like you want to tag someone as a legacy on your PNM list, or a negative tag would be saying like a grade risk or concern. So to add or edit tags on your PNM list, we'll select the cell or cells that we want to have our PNM or PNMs tagged with. So I'll just do one for example. So we'll right click on the cell and hit edit tags for this person. So we will put in a tag of legacy. We'll hit enter. Once it turns gray up here, that's the tag that we'll add to this PNM. We can add one or multiple tags at one time. So we'll just do one for today and we'll hit done. And now we'll add a tag to this person. So now that we have a tag and once you have more tags in your PNM list, these also become searchable. So I'll be go back to our search on the left side here and type in legacy. It will now only pull those with the legacy tag. So tags can then help you um, with your PNM statuses. So if a tag is negative for a PNM, you may want to mark them as release. Or on the other side, if the tag is positive, like our legacy tag here, we may want to keep them as active. And that is our search, sort, and tags feature in Omega Recruit.